warm water and busy times for Lainey too. She's tracking our weather and for the poor folks on the coast. Yeah, Lainey, so what do we have going on tonight here closer to home? Well, we've got the gray skies. We've had them all day long. We also have breezy conditions. Those winds are going to get stronger, at least over the next several hours. Also, heavy rain is going to really pick up in the Piedmont Triad. Now, if you're in the mountains and foothills, the far northwestern areas, not as much of an impact from this storm system. You're farther away from it. But in the Piedmont Triad, we do have a risk for flash flooding as well as the potential for damaging winds. I'd say flooding is our greatest threat, biggest concern. That slight risk extends through the Charlotte area Triad. Notice, though, more of a threat down toward the coast. And you can see that thankfully the rain has come to an end south of Wilmington, but they have had excessive rain. We'll talk about that in a second. You can now see that heavier rain starting to work its way toward Charlotte as well as the Piedmont Triad. Notice here that when we start to get into the reds and the purples, we're in that four, five, six inch range. We start to get into the grays and the whites. We are up close to a foot, if not more of rain. So if we take you in a little closer here, just south of Wilmington, many of you head down to Riceville Beach, you know, Carolina Beach and Southport. They are underwater right now. Saw a video of a van. There's three feet of water it was sitting in, and they've had a lot of issues and concerns in this area because we're talking about more than a foot of rain in less than 24 hours. Most of this happening in the last 12 to 15 hours. You can see, too, some strong gusty winds down along the coastline as well. We've seen some gusts at more than 60 to 70 miles an hour. Let's talk rainfall first. 18 inches at Carolina Beach. Now, this has not been updated in the last couple of hours. We're still trying to get new information in, but 14 plus inches in Sunny Point in Southport, more than a foot of inch of uh, rain, and in Wilmington, just a few inches of rain. Thankfully, we are not going to see excessive rain like that, but we are going to see a couple of inches of rain, and there could be some flash flooding in our area. So we've got that flood watch out, and it's mainly for our southernmost triad communities, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, Burlington, down toward Lexington and Asheboro, and that flood watch is going to stay up through tomorrow morning. So far we've seen a tenth of an inch in Winston-Salem, close to a quarter of an inch in Greensboro, and now getting closer to a half of an inch in Burlington and Asheboro, and that's because the rain has been picking up over the last hour. Bright yellow means very heavy rain. So from Burlington over toward Greensboro, it's continuing to work its way to the west toward Kernersville and Winston-Salem. Heavy rain too, now moving from Asheboro over toward High Rock Lake, Lexington and Denton, and that heavy rain is going to continue. Our wind gusts have also picked up over the last hour or so. I've seen some wind gusts at close to 30 miles an hour in and around Burlington. We could see some gusts at 30 to 40 miles an hour, and that's why that wind advisory is up, and it's up until 2 a.m. So the window, again, mainly most of this is going to be impacting us between now and about midnight. So we've got a wind advisory for Davidson for Randolph counties. Thankfully, not the wind like they've had down east. So these are some of the wind gust reports in and around the Wilmington area, which has been hit the hardest. Baldhead Island with a 60 mile per hour gust. Sunny Point at 77 miles per hour. Winds right now are at 35 miles an hour. So the National Hurricane Center is now saying no longer tropical storm force conditions along the coast. This is simply an area of low pressure working its way in. It's going to track along the border of North and South Carolina between now and tomorrow afternoon. That keeps the heaviest rains to our south, but we still are going to be seeing some pretty intense rain, I think, between now and midnight. And then it will start to taper off some overnight, becomes a little spottier. We've got clouds around. It's still going to be unsettled throughout the day tomorrow, but not steady rain. So you'll be able to get out. You probably want your umbrella just in case, but I think rainfall totals will be close to an inch in most communities. We could see one to two two inches in some of our southernmost communities and less than that to the northwest. Here's your forecast for your Tuesday impact for the morning when we see rain most likely tapering off some in the afternoon. It's still going to be breezy. That northeast wind at 15 to 30 miles an hour should be warmer tomorrow with highs in the low 70s. We've been in the 60s all day today in the foothills. I think we'll be in the 60s tomorrow as well. Breezy conditions, clouds and occasionally a passing shower for the mountains. Breezy as well with temperatures in the mid 60s tomorrow. Also an opportunity for rain. Can't rule out isolated thunder tomorrow, but not real impressed with that right now. I do think we stay unsettled Wednesday and Thursday and we could have a few pop up thunderstorms. We're going to heat things up a little bit toward the end of the week and then cool right back down. And so far so good for our weekend forecast.